I was one of the lucky ones to get the first day in at my hair salon yesterday. So I actually have short hair for it again. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I am Sue Fitzgerald. I work with AAA Travel, the Travel Division. AAA itself has many, many different divisions. Um, we have an insurance department, a bank, a uh, we have credit cards, we have um, uh, towing, we have trip ticks, we have different areas. But my field of expertise, I can help you with almost everything. I cannot touch insurance, but I, my field of expertise is travel. And one of the reasons that um, I wanted to talk and talk about travel is it's one of those things that a lot of people are very interested in and very curious to what's happening out there in the travel industry. Will they be able to travel in the future? I think everybody's a little bit tired of the staycation kind of thing that's been going on for the last six weeks or so and would like to have a real vacation someday. Um, and so I want to talk about where we were, where we are now, and where we're going. Obviously, when it first hit, the world shut down. The cruise lines are shut down. They, um, tour companies are not running right now. Um, they can't because so many places do not allow more than 10 people. You can't run a tour profitable with 10 people on it. Um, you've got to have 20, 30 people to be able to do that. Airplanes are flying and have been, but very limited, not necessarily by their choice, by people not flying more so than anything else. Um, some airports, of course, have been worse than others. I mean, but for example, the New York City airports are almost impossible to get into right now. There are very, very few flights flying in and out of those airports. Um, but it just kind of depends what's going on. As a travel agent, I probably took over 200 cancellations within the first three weeks, um, which is really tough for, of those who know us and know um, Robin's known me for a long time now and I'm really like, ah, well, and I haven't been. <laughs> well, because I can't get excited about telling people that they can't go on their trip anymore. I can't get you know, my life is one of giving good things out, and this was not giving good things out. It was giving bad information um, to people and canceling their dreams and their their what they were looking forward to doing. So for the last, for the first two, three, almost four weeks of the pandemic, that's what was going on. That's kind of stabilized now. Now it's when are we getting back on the road? What are we doing? A little bit of a reminder that. This pandemic was not caused by anyone or anything. All of us in reality, whether we're all suffering from it, including the airlines, including the tour companies, including all of that. So a lot of people um, out there have flights and they're really upset that they're not getting refunded, um, that they're getting credit for the future. If we don't give credit for the future, if they don't give credit for the future, it's not AAA, it's the cruise lines, it's the tour companies. If they don't work in a credit for the future versus a refund situation, they won't be in business to be able to fly you anywhere else in the future. Right now, we're lucky. We've seen one small airline in the States go down. It's an airline that was up in um, Alaska. I think it's called Rapture Air or something. And I've never even sold it. But one of the major airlines of South America went down, Avianca, filed for bankruptcy, if anybody knows that already. So there is a concern with these companies. If anybody read the new, the Sarasota Herald Tribune this morning was talking um, that the headlines read, okay, four airlines from terrible to worse. That was today's headlines in the Sarasota Herald Tribune talking about airlines it is quoting that there are approximately 23 people on each flight domestic on each domestic flight losing 350 million to 400 million dollars a day so these airlines can't stay in business if they don't at least not refund the people american um probably went into this one of the weakest delta united actually had the assets and do have the assets 
to be down and not take a passenger for a year. Those are the companies you're looking for. AAA, for example, went into this with no debt. That was one of the things that they're stressing with us as employees um, that don't worry, we're here for you. We went into this with no debt. Um, the companies that we're looking at, the tour companies we're looking at, um, putting people back on the cruise lines are all ones that actually had it in their plan that should something happen, they could go without a year, without passengers, without income. And there are companies out there like that that did that, and a lot of travel companies did. There are a few companies we're extremely worried about. I'm not going to kid you. Hertz is in trouble. Um, unfortunately, they're a business company, so they're in trouble. But where do we see the future beyond that? We see 2021 as being one of the busiest travel years in many, many years. Why? No one's traveling in 2020. Everyone's got credits to travel in 20 by the end of 2021. Most of the credits that are given, you have to travel by 2021, December of 2021. So everybody's in a position now where you're going to travel next year. So if you are thinking about traveling, do that. The other thing that is happening, a lot of the tour companies, a lot of the cruise lines are cutting back. They're not going to take as many people. They're not going to put on as many tours. You may see a few of the cruise lines pull ships out for a couple of for a month, two months, three months to renovate where they used to pull them out for a week, two weeks. You'll see them pull them out for a month or two months just to make sure that they're in good shape and they're ready. You see a lot of changes, masks on airlines. You're going to see no buffets. And if there are buffets, you're going to see someone else putting the food on the plate. You're going to see a lot of things where people are going to have to be separated, whether it's a cruise line, a tour company, they may end up with one person in each of the two seats. Instead, so taking half the people on a bus. Those kind of things are going to be all over the place when it first and to come. But travel is in the future. We are in good shape with what we're looking forward to. Um, anybody who does survive, I don't, as I said, I don't expect to see a lot of companies go out of business. A few that we're definitely concerned with. Um, but it did hit the industry financially very hard. Um, and I think in the future we are, I'm starting to look up. I think you've seen a happier Sue than you did in the last couple of weeks, um, and starting to book new people and starting to actually talk to people about what do you want to do next year? Where are you going to go? What's that dream that you want? And Cindy, I love your background. That's where you want to go. Thank you very much. Any questions? <laughs> 